this is Donkey Kong Country. We're on the Nintendo Switch. It's brought back from the Super Nintendo. It's part of the Nintendo Switch Online service as a free game on there. And this is, I don't know, I guess you could say one of the most classic platformer titles of all time from Rare. It's kind of actually crazy to see the, the Rare logo when you load up the game here. I was definitely not uh, expecting that. So it's also got like the mechanics of like some updated things that they do with the Switch releases. Uh, you know, you can sort of actually pause it here. You can suspend, create a suspend point. Uh, you get these kind of options in the menu, which are kind of cool. But it is really just that, uh, you know, kind of classic experience in regards to Oh, being uh, Donkey Kong Country, which I played uh, years and years back. It's also got all the funny little uh, glitch things to it, too, if that makes sense, uh, where you can get lots of lives and stuff by doing certain things, so that's kind of a fun addition as well for them to include with this particular release. Uh, it's supposed to have rewinding as well, which is kind of neat. So they kind of... You know, they give you all these weird sort of options if you want to go back in and enjoy this one. But I, I saw it added and I was like, you know, I used to play this back in the day, so I find it a little bit humorous that it is something that is actually, you know, available. <laughs> Just because I was like, oh, wow, yeah, I actually did play this one on the, uh, the Super Nintendo back in the day. I don't think I was ever very good at it, but I definitely remember playing a fair bit of it and doing some stuff. It's, it's got the tight platforming, that classic style. I was expecting it to... Oh, I want to get the G. Kong! I was expecting it to look a little bit better. I mean, I think the pixel animation style kind of holds up well, but I was expecting a little bit more of a... A, a cleaner shine or that it would have I guess maybe held up better like I mean it still looks good that original style obviously holds very you know strong to what the identity of the game is did I get hit by that armadillo thing jeez and I mean it's certainly worth trying as something that is you know so, so historical and unique to the you know Nintendo kind of family in that I mean, I haven't played a, a Donkey Kong game in so long. Oops, my bad. I think the last one I played was uh, basically with the Congo drums back in the day. Uh, so there's also, with these kind of games, they offer, like, online co-op and stuff for the entries. Ooh, for the titles that did have them, so that's kind of cool, too. Oh, jeez, yeah. Uh, I was trying to get the, the Kong logo there on the left. That's why I was going. But I think it's kind of nice, because you can play this, obviously, on the go, which is something you... Well, I'm, I'm sure they've probably released this, you know, since on other platforms as well, right? Like, I'm sure this isn't the first time that it's been ported. I always... That, that little spot there, I jump too high, and it gets me every time on there. Just a little bit of a cheeky little spot, you know that? Huh. But it's still... You know, the animation work is still splendid. The characters look great for their time, the, the environments and the, the world, the models and stuff hold up quite well. There's a lot of content to this one, you know? Moving through the stories, you play as the uh, the Kong characters, this original... Why do I, I, I do like, I don't know why I keep having trouble with that particular part of the map, it's driving me crazy. But it is also something that I think might be a bit hard. It, it's certainly awkward with the Joy-Con, because I have to hold it as like a singular Joy-Con right now. Or at least that's how it's working for me. And I'm like, Ugh, I don't really like that style of play, but you know, it is a simple old few button press game because that was the style at the time, right? With the, the controllers at that point, they weren't anything too complex like we have today as controllers continue to only get a little bit more complex as time goes by. Oh, come on, how did you do that? 
but like I was saying prior, there are all these options in regards to, you know, getting extra lives and stuff. They even did a little tiny tease video of that showing off all the different, you know, options that are present in regards to uh, tweaking. Ooh, jeez, yeah. <laughs> You know, having those options in order to get those extra lives and stuff going because those were, I'm guessing, little fun things back in the day. Why do my guys keep jumping off the cliff at that spot? It's driving me crazy. But yeah, I, I don't think I'm any good at this. I'll, I'll definitely be honest at it uh, with that. But I, I did want to kind of show this off because I thought it was like a little bit of a cool nostalgia piece because this was one of those titles that I, I did actually play back in the day. And I do kind of still remember it fairly well, which I think is kind of really interesting because it's such a, a strange series. You know, we still get a few of these every now and then, but I don't think it has quite the uh, status that it did at this point in time because there were a number of them in sequels. And I mean, Rare is quite well known. I'm thinking a little bit for their work on this particular series. Whoa, was there a hidden? thing there? No, I think you need the, uh, oh, jeez. No! See if we can actually finish this level off without dying. I mean, it's got that iconic music, the iconic characters, all the fly floating bugs. The goal to try to get all the bananas you can as you swing through the levels. Come on, Donkey Kong! What are you doing, man? Game over. Oh. They played the little thing. Oh, it's always a little bit funny. I don't know, it, it's kind of a, a very unique title of its time and something that you might find interesting. Oh, look, there comes Donkey Kong in here. Donkey Kong Country! I guess we should reset the game, kind of show that off too. Rare! Ah, uh, the Rare Rare logo. Rare is such an iconic um, gaming company if you're not aware with them they're with Xbox right now making a uh, sea of thieves and stuff like that see here in the menu we get a couple different options for playing you can do one player you could do the two player two team two player team but obviously since I'm all by myself here we've got to rock that out and you get the whole kind of island that you got to work through all of the different missions and you got to do that make sure you make little time saves though so that you actually don't have to restart all the time I think that's one of the nice things of the modern era is the fact that it's a little bit more accessible in regards to actually doing well. And while it's probably not the most exciting thing to see me go at this area again, I don't know, it's still... It's kind of a fun game. I'm not sure I'd necessarily sit here and replay it all and deal with the troubles of trying to work through it again, but it was a fun, you know, kind of look back kind of thing doing this, taking a look at this game playing it again because it is something that I I do kind of fondly remember from back in the day. It, it's such a, a strange sort of game to play, right? It's still got those little hidden areas, those little quirks, those little fun spots as you're going around and just enjoying this, I don't know, would you say it's an absolute classic platformer title? I would think so. I mean, they don't really make this style of play anymore with these, you know, these kind of visuals. We definitely get different types of platformers, but this one was so neat just in regards to its, like, you know, parallaxing and the style of the visuals, the look of the artwork, the type of platforming that was present at its time. And I think maybe that makes this hold up today. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this look at Donkey Kong. Oh, jeez. Donkey Kong Country on the Nintendo Switch. And if they do any other cool ones, I might show those off, too, in the future. Anything that really catches my eye. But this was kind of the first for me since I did pick up the, you know, the service and stuff. The first that really did jump or pique my interest.